First named the Coos Bay Bridge, construction began on July 10, 1934 during the height of the Great Depression. It was finished two years later. The bridge was built to replace the Roosevelt Ferry which ran many daily services between Glasgow and North Bend. The cantilever style bridge spans 5,305 feet across the Coos River. At the time of completion in 1936, it was the longest bridge in all of Oregon. Because navigation across the river had to remain open during construction, Condi McCullough, Oregon's chief highway engineer, designed a steel cantilever truss midsection with the road deck reaching 150 feet above water. Temporary work bridges were built out to the piers where each cantilever section began. This provided access as well as base to build temporary supports as the arms of the cantilever sections extended over the work bridges. Although the construction resembled a giant erector set, the building of the 1,708-foot steel truss was considered an engineering triumph for its time. The steel truss is flanked on each side by several reinforced concrete arches below the road deck, leading to entry plazas boasting elaborately embellished abutments and staircases. The design includes classical and gothic style elements with a popular art deco and modern influences of the late 1920s and the 1930s. Pedestrian plazas at both ends of the bridge continue the combination with long, elaborate, curved stairways that descend from each side of the deck. Vertical concrete walls along the staircases were draped with chevron motif. Approximately 250 men were employed to work on the bridge at any one time with a weekly payroll of $7,000. Common laborers earned $0.50 cents per hour and semi-skilled workers earned $0.75. Cents. Each man worked 30 hours per week in order to employ as many men as possible during the Great Depression. These workers moved over 24,000 cubic yards of soil, over 48,000 cubic yards of concrete, nearly 12 million pounds of steel, and 5 million board feet of lumber, most of which came from local timber companies and was transported on the railroad. The 5,305 foot long bridge is the longest and southernmost of the five structures completed as part of the Public Works Administration's Oregon Coast Bridges project. Due to many technical challenges, the Coos Bay Bridge was considered the most difficult coastal bridge to build. It was also the most expensive at $2.14 million. The bridge was renamed to the McCullough Memorial Bridge in 1947, a year after Condi B. McCullough died on May 5, 1946. The Coos Bay Bridge has required only routine maintenance lifetime, however it was forced to close for repairs in late 1986 after it was struck by a ship. Today the McCullough Bridge remains a necessity for Oregon's Bay Area. It still does its job just as well as it did nearly 90 years ago.